Welcome to this video, where we will study about research objectives, its importance, and smart criteria for selecting objectives. Types and examples of research objectives. An objective is an intent of what the researcher wants to do, stated in clear measurable terms. It is organized investigation of a problem in which there is an attempt to gain solution to a problem. Research objectives are very important because, avoid the collection of data which are not necessary for understanding and solving the problem you have identified. It uses action verbs that are specific enough to be evaluated, for example, to determine, to compare, to verify, to calculate, the SMART acronym is an easy way to remember the key features of well-developed program objectives. The objectives should be specific, and indicate who or what is the focus of the effort. It should be measurable and indicate a quantity, such as the percentage change, it should be appropriate and be sensitive to audience needs and preferences. It should be realistic, to decide what can be achieved reasonably under existing conditions, and within available resources. And in last it must be time-bound and state clearly the time period, for achieving the behavior changes. Some examples of research objectives are, to determine the frequency of acute kidney injury and its short-term effects after acute myocardial infarction in tertiary care hospital Peshawar. To determine mean pain among patient coming with renal colic. To determine severity of pain among patient coming with renal colic. There are two different types of objectives. General objectives are broad goals to be achieved. The general objectives of the study state what the researcher expects to achieve by the study in general terms, these are usually less in number. For example, if the problem identified is low literacy among mothers of children with diarrhea, the general objective should be to determine the role of mother's education in reducing the prevalence of diarrhea among children. Specific objective is possible and advisable to break down a general objective into smaller and logically connected parts. These are short-term, more in number, and narrow in focus. They should specify what the researcher will do in the study, where, and for what purpose. Examples of specific objectives are, to compare the level of utilization of the child welfare clinic, services among various socioeconomic groups. To establish the pattern of utilization of child welfare clinic services in various seasons of the year. Thank you for watching.